Uh, let's go to Surat near the border of Ukraine and Romania. That's where we find World Vision CEO Daniel Wordsworth. Daniel, good to see you again. Uh, how are you finding the refugee situation? We last spoke a couple of days ago. How are you finding it since then? We did. Uh, thank you, Peter. Uh, it, it, it's been devastating. Uh, I've been on the border each day. We're seeing um, a real uptick, actually, in refugee movements. As the intensification of fighting is occurring, we're seeing an intensification in the number of people that are fleeing. And so I think the UN was estimating we'd hit the million by this weekend, but actually we've hit a million people leaving already in th on Thursday. So um, uh, we're seeing families. Uh, and just as I said in the clip, what you're really seeing are mothers with small children. It's freezing cold. It's snowing, as you can see behind me. And what really stands out for me is you're seeing mums with strollers navigating all of this. It's incredibly mm. tough. Where are they going? Yeah, so if we if we look at an example like uh, Romania, about half of the refugees that come into the country actually keep on going and they move into other parts of Europe with family and friends in different countries. About half are staying inside of Romania, many with family and friends. Uh, many hotels in this area actually offer free rooms to refugees. And, and, for also, and also the government is setting up camps. So we're moving into, right. we've had two now, setting up a third one. So from the refugees that, that you speak to, and, and you talk, talked about women and children there because all the men over the age of 16 have to stay and fight. But, I mean, are they telling you that they want it to be temporary, that ultimately they do want to go back, uh, go back to their home if it's still there and go back to, you know, the, the men in their lives if, if they are still alive? Certainly. I, I talked to Christina yesterday. She, um, When she left home, um, she left to go west. And her husband, same morning when they left the door, he went east to fight. And uh, she had a, her young daughter. She was eight years old with her. And she said, if it wasn't for my daughter, I would have gone east with my husband. But we have to prioritize our, our child. And so I'm bringing her west. But as soon as we can, we need to be reunited. And so I think, I think they're desperately hoping, like most refugees, that this is temporary. And it's all going to depend on what happens at home. Uh, are, are the facilities and supplies able to be enough for, for the, the massive amount of refugees that are crossing the border? Because if we hit a million now, it's, it's obviously going to be more. Yeah, so when it gets into this, the number that we're talking of, you know, four, five, six million, I think there's going to be an enormous strain. Uh, I, I think many, much of Europe is stepping up, and so we, we can absorb some of that. But actually, the thing that's really worrying us, Peter, is the same number that's coming out. You're going to see that number and perhaps more displaced inside of Ukraine. So the real question for us is what do we do about those people? Okay. Daniel Wordsworth, he's the uh, CEO of World Vision there at the border with Romania and, uh, and Ukraine. Thanks for the update, Daniel. Uh, Daniel, we'll, uh, we'll try and talk to you again next week, see how it's all going.